Mosul's dropouts that are when he says dropouts, there there's not dropout gang members. There are, but they're not like baby rapists. They're all like they're all hood motherfuckers, bro. That just fucking didn't want to fucking bang anymore, bro. That's all it was. They, I'm telling you right now, bro. There's whole dropout gangs, whole fucking dropout gangs that are. Yeah, like bro. Sections now yeah, absolutely, like, bro. Get Nazi low riders, Nortenos, Sorenos hanging all out. All kicking it, bro. Like, yeah. And all of a sudden, they're fucking some hood called Westside Familia. <laughs> You're like, and hey, then, what the fuck happened to the dropout? Now yeah, I'm like, game? straight up, bro. I'm like, what the fuck happened to this fucking? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. What happened, It is crazy. Rotate the vice. Let's go. What up, YouTube? This shit don't even look good, I don't think, bro. Hold up. Careful. Oh, shit, bro. Now put it up there. Oh, shit. What up, YouTube? Bro, why does the starting of our videos always look like shit? You notice that? Yeah, it's all right, though. We're going to definitely have to tune that one out. It's all good. Bro, so what should we talk about, dog? It's labeled prison life. So if you want to, you could hit me with a couple fucking, a couple questions and shit, and I'll go ahead and let the audience know what's up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, that's, it is crazy, all these, the dropout shit, how the dropouts and all the PC stuff works, like, you know, that they house... <coughs> I mean, you get, that's where the sick, I feel like that's where the sickest offenders are, though. Like, the people who kill babies and shit like that. Those guys are definitely PC'd up, right? You know what I mean? When I was, when I was locked up, there was this dude. His name was Angel. He, uh, was in there for <coughs> killing a baby. But before, the hood I used to be from, before everyone functioned highly, Okay. No one really knew that's what he was in there for. No one really knew, okay? So, he he went like 15 years in this prison banging Norte, bro, before he got paperwork checked. Because it used to not be like that, you know? And one day, he got they fucking found out he's a baby killer, bro. And they fucking stabbed him right in his fucking eye, bro, and he lost his eye, bro. They stabbed him right in his eye, like... And now he walks around with a patch on his eye like this, bro, looking like fucking, looking like that dude from fucking Austin Powers, you know, the one with the patch on his eye? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, bro, looking yeah. like him. That shit's wild. It's, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how people, uh, I couldn't be housed with somebody, like, do they give you, or, so when you're in PC, is everybody single cell, or do you have roommates in some PC units? All right, so, like, like I said, one of the own? sections I was in, okay? was the bottom tier was all actives okay and the top tier were all pcs that's just the section i was in but they made sure that they never accidentally pop doors and shit because they don't want people to die so you bro. can be housed with p well so what happened units? is i thought there was no, like our, an old building so no no, no yeah yeah so our our section was getting painted bro so they were painting all the oh, cells shit. all the top you know what i mean yeah so they split our section up they're like look one of you guys what they did is they're like, there's two PC sections. We're going to give you guys the whole bottom tier, and we're going to give you, like, a four-hour wreck. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And they're like, just keep it cool with people between the doors. That's what they said. Right. And they're like, this and that. And there's a couple times that we got shit-bombed and shit because, like, some of the PCs would come out and be like, fucking bitch, and yeah. knowing the doors between us, and then they'd just shit-bomb us or do something crazy, bro. But, like... Yeah, so pretty much for the most part, they, like, sent, like, half of us to one section, half of us to the other section. So, like, you know what I mean? The top tiers on both sections were, like, check-ins, but the whole bottom tier was active, bro. Yeah. So, it was just crazy, man. But, no, they all had they all have roommates and shit. But there's there's people that are, like, super, 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 super checked in, bro. That are, like, by themselves. Yeah, that are, right? they're, they're sitting like, in UN1. You can't, that's what I mean. Like, where you're, like, yeah. by yourself, Yeah, so, like, all right, down, there's... All there's there's this dude, his name was Stronglo, okay? This is facts, bro. This dude fucking uh, ended up catching, like, some rape beefs. And uh, he was, like, the tough, one of the toughest crips in the prison, bro. And he still is. He's a beast. He's tough as fuck, bro. He's, like, probably 285, and he's, like, 6'9". Like, the dude's a fucking, like, he's a mon. Well, he ain't 6'9", bro. That's me exaggerating. But he's probably a good 6'5", at least. He's a fucking, yeah, he's a big, big dude. Big dude, bro. 
And fucking, uh, yeah, bro, he was highly respected for many years, bro. And then he fucking just started raping fools in prison, bro, and catching, catching, catching cases. Put in my, yeah, he just started. To, he uh, he held this dude down, okay? And he fucking, he, well, he knocked him out, and he held him down, and he sprayed lotion in his asshole, bro. And he fucking took the bottle and set it, like, like shoved the head, like, in his ass a little bit, and then kicked the bottle inside his ass, bro. And these man. bottles are like big, bro. They're like this fucking big, bro. Big ass lotion bottles. And he kicked it inside this kid's ass, bro. And they charged him for it. What you, yeah. And then he caught like, like he caught two more. Sick. Then he caught like two more of them. And so now they have them. Now they have them like super like because they know that he's tough and he will fight, bro. But they know that like he would end up getting killed. So they just have him so like far back that he can't even fucking even associate with people, bro. What the fuck? That's so crazy, dude. What the fuck? I wouldn't even know what to do if I was housed with people like that, man. I'd be like, dude, just, yeah, I guess you do just gotta be by yourself. Yeah. Hey, I know this dude named Berto, right? If you're from Ogden, you know who he is. He's a beast, right? And uh, he used to be Ogden Thresse, bro. Uh -huh. Or I don't know if he still is. Like, he used to be, I think. And uh, But anyway, he's a good dude, bro. I like him. And, uh, bro, they tried to jump him one time. And he fucking, like, they ended up getting him and stabbing him, bro. But he ended up, like, putting, like, three of them to sleep, bro. Damn. But, like, if you go out to the prison and you ask them, who are the top three dudes that have just are just known for sleeping fools in, in this prison? Uh -huh. they, they, his name's one of them, bro. And he's only, like, five foot nine. And he's, like, 180 pounds, bro. But he's been boxing his entire life, bro. And he just yeah, puts fools to sleep. One time they accidentally popped his door and there was two Tongans, bro. Two Tongans, like big ass, like Tongan cribs, bro. Yeah. And they had beef at the time. So them fools tried to rush Birdo and he knocked one out, bro, and then knocked the other one out. Like within, straight up, bro. So like <laughs> one came at him, like they were rushing him, right? And he's like, boom, and he cracked, oh boy. And then he like dunked it and cracked the other one. Just knocked him, bro. Knocked them both cold the fuck out, bro. Oh shit! Maybe somebody do it. What? What did the message say? I didn't see what that comment said. Did you? Hey, someone just comment real quick. Anything so it will pop back. Oh yeah, just hit that. Have you seen somebody deal with a pedophile in there? Have you only been to Draper, or have you done time in Gunnison too? So I've done time. I would say I did eight years, and I would say four was in Draper, four was in Gunnison. I got split up between. Where's where the fuck is Gunnison? Gunnison is you know where Nephi is. Yeah. It's right next to Nephi, bro. Is it a and that's a is that a prison or is it just it's a, a jail? No, it's a prison. So like bro. that's the other part of is it? So it's not part of the Utah State Prison. It is. It's just it's just like another it's like a it's different. like another entity. Of the prison, but it's the same prison, same rules. So it's like, not like the jailhouse. Some inmates get counted out. You know how some like some go to Beaver and do their time. At yeah, Beaver yeah, no, and no, shit no, like no. That. It's, it's not like that. There's, a, yeah, no, it's a prison. It's an actual prison, and it prison. actually gets gangsters fucked down there. Fools be getting stabbed and stuck up and dying. Right. So there's this dude named Highway. This is a true story, okay? There's a dude named Highway, and uh, his celly was this like old Paisa dude named Cuba. And Cuba was like real like he wouldn't he wouldn't let this dude eat none of his commissary like he was real stingy with his shit and like you know yeah. and Highway was like so what happened is he went to jail okay he's like a, he's like an artist bro he went to jail on, on a zero to five charge in Utah zero to five years and he ended up going crazy and shit bro and he fucking built a like it looked like a bomb bro out of hot dogs and like. I, I, so he took like the hot dogs and like made them a different color, right? And like hot dogs. Yeah, like he like hot dogs from your tray, bro. And like cut them and made them look like like little sticks of like explosives, bro. And then he like painted them. And it was a fucking trip, bro. And then he took like a piece of a, a a soap bar and he like like carved it out to look like a phone. And then he painted it black, bro. And he like made it all look like a bomb, bro. And he literally ran out there and like grabbed this bitch up and was like, I'll blow this whole motherfucking gel up if you guys don't let me out. And he made it all the way to the fucking front door, bro. And the fucking soap fell off of it, bro. And they realized it was a fake vest. What? And they fucking tackled him and beat his ass, bro. How, and, how do you... And he went to prison for it, bro. Holy shit. Yeah. And then check this out. So he, so now he's like sitting there on like a five to life charge in prison. He's fucked now, right? Yeah. And so he's just mad. And his celly's being a bitch, bro, right? So you know what he did? He jumped down. He jumped down there and he fucking grabbed him, bro, and just brutally executed him, bro. Just cut his, he tried to cut his entire head off, right? And then he like got almost his entire head off. And then 
he he like wanted to he was thinking about flushing them down the toilet he's like if i break them up into pieces like his bones he's mm -hmm. like i could probably flush them down the toilet and that was his plan bro but then they came in for a count and they're like where's your celly at and so he hopped on his bunk and ate all of his commissary and they came in for a count and they're like they're like what the fuck why is it bloody in here they're like where's your celly at and then he's like oh i killed him he's under the bunk and they're like what the fuck and they cuffed him up and shit and sent him to the hole that's so wild, dude. My first, how does, dude, I, and that, how does that? So how does that have like a the the things you've like seen in there? Like, do you does does it fuck with does it fuck you with you mentally? Like obviously, well, like, I, obviously, yeah. I know that you have like the PTS from it. Yeah. But it's like, but like that's what like. Bro, does, it, how does that like even, real real talk, talk real talk, like that? real talk like real talk? How do you? I, I've been like. There'd been times I, I've been sleeping with like my ex wife, like when I we used to be married and shit, and like I would wake up and I'd like be gripping like this, bro, and I would like pinch her, like I'd bruise her arm, bro, because I'm like grabbing her arm, bro. yeah, and she's like yelling, but I can't hear. Her. Does that make any sense at all, bro? I and guess she, like so she you wake her, so I wake she her up, she's up. like ah, and like but I'm not processing that she's screaming, I'm like still in my dream, bro. Does that make sense? But I don't remember what the fuck I'm dreaming about. I just remember it's it was a bad dream. Because you smoked up, man. Yeah, yeah bro. That kill and no, bro. I, I was completely sober, bro. Oh, when you were doing that, one hundred percent. None, okay. bro. Yeah, I'm gonna say because that, yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And I don't then, know so how I you could have dealt. With I went that. and talked to this doctor. And this doctor's like, bro, you're fucked up, dog. And he diagnosed oh, yeah. me with PTSD, and then I got 100%. my... 100%. Yeah. But I, I've, like, I, I, I've killed somebody, but, like, they, they died, but they came... Like, they brought them back to life. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that... And I've caught a life sentence for it. But what happened is I pled my five to life, which is a life sentence, down to a zero to five. And then I did an extra... I did an extra three and a half years on Oh, shit. But I'm lucky the dude didn't die. I'm glad he didn't, bro. I don't want to kill someone, bro. Like, I did. Like, is that kind of killing someone? No, it don't. I mean, if it does, dude's, but it dude's don't. A, I mean, it, it is. It, I mean, what do you I mean? mean? I, I killed know. him, the bro. Guy's that, that, he the flatlined. Guy's a, that's well, I mean, fame. You did, you, that's you, legally dead. You stopped, his, you stopped him from breathing for sure and, like, stopped his heart. I mean, if the dude's alive, he's alive, and that's what you got to be thankful for because you, you'd be, yeah, you'd be in jail still. Yeah. I'd be fucked, bro. Be I've right. never seen the light of day, bro. I want to have a daughter on the way right now. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly. even know you. Yeah, you wouldn't even know me. How trippy is that? I mean, if you were to all it would have taken is that dude to just die. You know, it's like, hey, that's a wrap for him, and then... That's what fucking happens, dude. That's what happens. That's, that's what fucking... What else was right there? How do you keep the chat? Oh, yeah, all messages. My, my ex-husband did that to me when he first got out. Yeah. That's crazy. That's facts. Shit works like that, guys. Yeah, that's wild. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't see how... how do, it's crazy that some people deal with it better. And I... I and I guess it's just the the environment inside there that you know you were involved with the gangs in there, so I guess there's probably more trauma yeah. there versus somebody who's just in there for some drugs and he's just kind of doing his time, you know, yeah. trying to get. Well, by. like this is how I look Maybe at it. Maybe it's not so, as traumatizing for him, you know. Like when I first got out, it was like I was still doing dumb shit. Like not this time out, last time out, I was still doing dumb shit because, like I I fucking I I had something to go back to. I was like, all right, when I go back, I was like, hell yeah, bro, yeah, I still got my homies, homies my whole there, hood, but he's like, in there. we'll go kick it and shit, you know, like, this time, I ain't got nothing to go back to, so I'm like, I'm a wanted gang member, all because I just don't want to bang anymore, because all the motherfuckers are disloyal, it's not that I didn't put my time in, I studied that shit, I learned everything, I learned the bonds, I knew this shit, you know what yeah. I mean, and it's just like, how are you going to preach something that you don't follow, and then how are you going to tell on someone, bro? Yeah. Like every, and I'm not not saying in general. I'm saying like in any situation, there was a big stabbing there at the prison, and one of the dudes ended up telling on everyone, bro. Like, yeah. and, and they were like, "What the fuck?" And that's what got everybody A and B did. It was just crazy, bro. And it's like, where's the loyalty at? We all preach loyalty and have loyalty tattooed on us and all this shit, ride or die, and then until fucking until their lives are yeah, until happen. you're you're catching a five to life sentence, yeah. and then you start fucking ratting motherfuckers out because you're scared, and then you go sit in the fucking hole. Fuck that, man. It's just crazy, bro. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I don't know how you did it for so long. Like, I, th I think after... 
I, don't, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I guess when you're young and influenced by older people, everybody's in. I was influenced by older people too, doing doing drugs and. Yeah. So it's like we're, it's it is crazy. Well, I can see how you could be influenced like that, especially when they're sh- at, at first when they're, they're you know you got so many homies around you that yeah. are showing you love and you're yeah. fuck you ain't had you don't even you never even knew what love was. That that sounds like appealing to some kid that it's like you know you're fucking sixteen seventeen and then you and then you go to prison. It's like this is the fucking this is the only thing I've ever known. It's like bro, shit, there was homies, a, homies are my, my homies, ex big man. homie bro. There wasn't a point in time, bro, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have killed, killed him for him. Huh? I would have butchered a motherfucker yeah. for that dude, bro. Yeah, and it's like, do you think? And now you think about it, it's like, do you think you he would do the same for you right now? Hell no, no. no well, not right now. Uh, at the time, at, uh, at the time. yes, I believe he would have. Yeah. I, I really do because. But now that you guys are both probably wise and mature, a lot more. No, than he's you still. Were, or is he the still only reason he, he's still active, but the only reason that. Like, he would have done it is because of what I represented. Not because yeah. of me of a person, because exactly. he had an because obligation. Because it was an obligation. That's yeah, so that's I'm the saying. only reason he would have done anything is because right. he had he had the obligation or it was right. his ass. Right. And that's the point. And you would have did it just because he was like a fucking home. Because I looked like, up to him. Yeah, like, you're like, fuck, this is a fuck. Because that's, that's what I mean. It's so fucked up that the, how it works, dude. They, they, they prey on younger people when they come in because they know it's like, hey, we can get these home, these kids to ride for us, do stabbings for us, whatever. I mean, and, and before you know it, you're like, oh, yeah, these are my homies. But then when it comes down to it's time to fucking, when it's their ass on the line, yeah. who goes down for it? Yep, you exactly. know what I mean? Who the fuck is taking the rap for everything? All of a sudden, oh, bro, I'm the big homie. You're and the homie. I can't dude. go to the hole yeah. because all the communication on the yard will get shut down. So I'm going to need you to take this one yeah. for me, brother. You're going to get, pro- and your promise things yeah. probably, you know, you're pro- dude, you're going to get a higher fucking yeah, whatever, high, yeah, high bro, rating or trip. something. You're going to work your way up. Like, it don't matter that you get out in six months. What matters is you're representing this gang, bro. And you got, like, at least you got, that's probably a good 10 years at least. So, like, you could come, like, kick it with me for the next 10 years, homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you're like, hell yeah, bro, let's get it, bro. I'm going to stab. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. I'll do it. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how influenced we are when we're fucking young and dumb. I was young and dumb as fuck. Still, I still am tr- dumb as fuck trying to figure shit out. But I, but I, I, I'm more. I, I can at least see shit now. I recognize when I'm fucking being, st- you know. I can at least recognize shit like that now. I'm like, fuck. You know. Who's the guy in the middle, bro? Oh, that's Casper. That's the homie Casper, eh? Yeah, it's Casper Holmes. That's Casper, eh? <laughs> Yep. That's the fucking homie. Dude, this coffee's got me goaded, bro. Oh, yeah. I feel like I just fucking... That's that eye-opener, bro. That's that eye-opener. That's that hit Shout out to fucking High Altitude. Yep. Fucking Beans and Brews, baby. Bro, I want a Beans and Brews sponsorship, bro. I spend, I'll drink their shit every day. Facts, bro. I want some dope-ass sponsorships. Legal Lean. That's another one I want. Sipping that lean. Hey, if, I don't know if anybody sees this, but if you guys have a business or whatever and you guys want to sponsor me, I'll push your shit. I'll, I'll push your shit on my YouTube and on my TikTok. My TikTok has, it's got over 100,000 followers. I got 102,000 followers on TikTok and I'll push your product on my shit. So if you guys ever want to get at me, let me know. It don't matter how small your business is, I don't care. You send me product. I'll sport it, represent it, fucking whatever, you know, show it on my shit, and then we'll just go from there. Homeboy asks, what's the best food you've had in prison? Like, what was the best? Bro, I used to do some fire. And not shit. actually, no, so, what, not, what was, no. what's the best food you can get access to, actually? That's like the most expensive. Carton like, to a pork meat, bro. You can buy, how yeah, much bro. can you buy so it? It's like six bucks for a pound bag of it, bro. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. Six bucks a pound. I mean, it's cheaper in the store. Obviously, it's yeah. like probably three. And bucks, then you just—it's like all still. greasy. It's already cooked, and then you just throw it in the hot pot, bro. And it just—and it cooks, and it's all juicy. And, Wait, and then, hot pot? Yeah. What do you mean? You get, uh, in Gunnison, you can get these things called hot pots, bro. They're like—it's like a fucking. 
it's like a it's like a fucking pot, like a yeah, you know, I and it has a burner you, on the bottom, and you just about. plug it into the wall, and it gets hot, yeah, and it gets hot. Really but we used to break those open and take the burner out and put it on a piece of like a stool, like, and it would get the top of the stool hot, like a griddle, bro. And we would just make sandwiches and shit, bro. Oh shit! And you'd walk in the section and it'd smell like straight fucking like a grilled cheese, bro. In the section, the cops would be like, "It smells bomb in here." Damn, they don't wild. care. They don't give a fuck, bro. Oh shit. Carnitas B for pork. Did you see those dudes cooking meat on the tray port? Those dudes cooking meat on the tray port? Did you see those dudes? On the tray port? I don't know what you mean by that. Like the cuff port? Like on the, yeah, that's probably what he's talking about. I don't know. I haven't Nobody seen that. I used meat. to cook that shit. They give you black, they give you boxes. We used to cut them up and make shanks out of them, but they took them away. But they used to give us these like metal boxes and they were dope, bro. Yeah. To keep your shit in. And then people were getting beat with locks and socks and all types of shit. And then, but fuck a sock, bro. You know what people used to do? They used to get their, because you can buy like a leather belt. Oh, shit. At, really? at, in like a certain area of the prison. Yeah. And sometimes like the cops forget to take it from you. So like you can have, like if they right. find them, they'll take them, but you won't get in trouble for them. Right. But people used to take those leather, leather belts and then take two padlocks and like, oh. and then they would just beat you with like a leather, like that shit don't break. And they just, and now they just fucking run up and someone just beat them with that shit, bro. That's fucking terrible. Can you picture getting hit in the head with two locks at a time, bro? Just, oh, oh. I don't want to get hit with one lo- hit in the head with one. Yeah, you not mean, at all. Um, what did that shit say? My boy says, fuck. Jack Jerry, what's up, man? He says, where the, were there any dudes out of state doing time in the Utah pen? Yeah, hell yeah, I, I've been all in all kinds I, of people. I'm sure. Huh? All types of people come here on va- they, they come here on vacation and leave on probation. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. Utah, you know what Utah stands for? You turn around here. As soon as you see that Utah sign, you just turn around and just don't go in there because you are gonna get cracked. Yeah, they don't fuck around out here. Definitely fuck around. Well, I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. I appreciate you guys yeah, yeah. tuning in. For sure. I'm gonna upload this, and uh, we got some funny ass shit coming on, man. We got some, yeah, some yeah. funny ass podcasts and all types of shit. Check We're out the least. fucking TikTok on Burner. Burner so. 420 on TikTok. Check me out. But uh, yeah, once again, if anybody has any businesses they want me to represent, hit me up. Much love. My email is the dropout 801. Okay, the dropout 801 at gmail.com. Hit me up. Yeah.